Let's talk about another light switch circuit. This one is going to be a little more complicated than our basic single pole switch and light fixture. This one's going to introduce another type of light switch we call a three-way switch. The name's a little uh, confusing, but what a three-way switch does, it allows us to operate one light fixture in two different locations from two different switches. And this is a simple idea. If you go into a home or a building and use one, you might have never thought through it, but the wiring that to make this happen is a little more complicated. So let's go ahead and look at the schematic. I'm going to relate that schematic to my mock-up here, and we're going to go through this one conductor at a time. So to start with, we always have our power cable that's feeding power in. This is a 14-2 cable, so it has a black wire, a white wire, and a ground wire. You see that on the schematic. That cable is going to run into our first junction box that will hold one three-way switch. So these are my 14-2 wires. We're also using our 14-3 conductor cable that's going to run from this switch box over to the other switch box. That gives us one more, if you remember, one more wire, the red wire, which is going to give us that option to use either switch. And I'm going to show you how that works. So hang with me here. We've got a 14-3 that runs from this box to this box. And then from our second switch box, we're going to run up to our ceiling box, which is going to hold our light fixture. So that's all we need to carry the power from this box up to here. So that is the general overview of how this goes. So let's get into some of these specifics. So what happens here is that you're going to have these switches and I'm going to add one extra detail that we haven't talked about yet. We've always talked about uh, gold terminals. We've talked about silver terminals and silver terminals are for neutrals. Golds are for black wires. And we talk about our green terminal that's for a ground or green insulated wire. I'm gonna add another one now. We have a black terminal. And this black terminal is going to be called our feed terminal. This one is going to either take power into the switch or it's gonna carry power out of the switch. Our, our gold terminals on a three-way switch, we will have two of them. And these we're going to call our traveler terminals. These ones are going to uh, communicate with either switch is going to give us two different paths for the power to flow depending on which position the switch is in. So consider the black terminal is one, if we have a wire coming in, uh, say our power feed, that's going to connect to my black terminal. And then our traveler terminals, in this case, are going to connect to either our red or our black conductors that are traveling between the two switch boxes. That is the basic setup. Our neutrals are going to get connected and follow through all the way to the end of the circuit. And even in the case of a three-way switch, there is no connection from our neutral conductor to either switch. Our grounds will need to get pigtailed in to our ground terminals on both switches and our ground wire will carry to the end of our circuit, although we will not be using it on, our, on this specific light fixture. So that's kind of the summary of it. Let's go ahead and put this circuit together and make all of these connections and I'll talk you through it. So to start with, I'll just work from left to right. I'm going to connect my three-way switch into this circuit. And first things first, I'm going to start with my ground wires. So I'm going to pull, I've got two cables here. I'm going to pull these two ground wire connections together and I need to make a pigtail to then connect to my ground terminal on my switch. So that's three wires together. That's our three wire splice. We're going to twist them together. Nice and tight. We will finish this off with a wire nut once I clean the ends up. And we're going to go ahead and cut those clean. Now I can, I can go ahead and put my wire nut on the end. So my ground is good there. I have already put a hook on here that I'm going to connect to my 
ground terminal, which is on this side. So we'll go ahead and hook that on. So for this box, I have my ground wires taken care of. I'm going to move on to my neutral wire. If you remember, there's no connection to the switch to either of these neutral wires, but I have two of them. So I'm going to connect those together. We'll clip those off clean and put a wire nut on there to finish that off. And that is my neutral wire connections for this specific box. Now I have, and this is where we need to pay attention. I've got, I don't need to get these confused. So these are my wires that go over to here. So I need to keep the red and the black separate. This black wire is the one, and verify this when you do this circuit, this is my wire that's, my feed cable is coming in, and this is the black wire that's associated with this cable. This one needs to connect to my black terminal right there. So we'll go ahead and tighten that one up. This is a standard terminal. It's just a different color. And the black one is tight. We can check that wire. It's nice and tight. Now I have two more terminals, one on each side. They're both gold, and we're calling these our travelers. So either one of these, uh, these two conductors, whether it's red or black, can connect to either one of these. I'm a sort of a stickler when it comes to process. So just remember that if you connect the red one on the left and the black one on the right with my ground on this side, I'm going to duplicate that on the other switch. It helps to keep us organized and it helps so that the switches uh, work the same direction for on and off. It's just a better, it's what you would call uh, best practice when doing electrical. So I'm going to go ahead and connect my black wire on the left. Tighten that one up. And then I'm going to connect my red wire on the right. Make sure uh, that you're hooking the hook on in a way that would always allow this terminal to tighten it, which would be clockwise as we're facing the terminal. So the wire's wrapped in a clockwise direction. So now I have both of my travelers connected, my black one on the left to the gold terminal and my red one on the right to the gold terminal. So that finishes this particular box. Normally I would pack this box up. I'm going to leave it loose so that we can review it later. I'm going to move on to my next junction box, which will take my next or my second three-way switch. So we're going to wire this one very similarly, starting with our ground wire. So our ground wires get connected together and we need to run a pigtail to our switch. So I'm going to have three wires here and we'll connect these wires together using our typical three wire splice. Twist the wires tight, then use a wire knot. Clip the ends clean, tighten them together, clamp them together with a wire knot. I have a hook on this end that will connect to my terminal. And at this point, I'm going to start to orient my switches the same way. I've got my ground terminal on the lower left. So I'm going to do this the same way. And I'll continue with that process all the way through. The way a three-way switch works is there's no up is on and down is off. And we'll go through that when we get done, but consider that there is no, uh, there's no universal arrangement or orientation for these switches. So we need to continue with our neutral and our neutrals have no connection to our switch, just like in the other box. So we will just pull the two white wires together, connect them so that we carry our neutral up to our light switch. So basically what we've done 
is we've run our neutral wire into this box, spliced it, run it into this box, spliced it, just so that we can get it up here to our light fixture. And once these wires get twisted together, we're going to finish them off with a wire nut. After, of course, we clip them clean. That's the clipping the wires is a really important step because that number one gives us a nice point on the end, but it also allows this wire nut to do its job and clamp onto those wires. It's very difficult to get a good point just by twisting them with the pliers. So there is my neutral connection. Now I have my, um, I have my feeder wire and this is the trick about a three-way uh, switch connection is we have our hot wire coming in on this side to our black. Now we have to consider, we'll call that in, power in. We need our power out on this switch. So the power out is going to be the wire that's going to feed to the socket base or light fixture. So we need to make sure we get that one right. This wire coming in, this is my hot lead. So I'm connecting this black wire that goes to my light fixture onto my black terminal here. So we have power in on this side to my black terminal on the first switch, and then I have power out that's going to here on my black terminal on this switch. I have both of my switches turned the same direction, so now I have only two more wires to connect. I have my black and my red that are shared on these traveler terminals. I want them to be in the same location because that's just the way I am. That means I'm going to have my black lead on this particular terminal on the left. We'll go ahead and tighten that one up. And then I'll put my red terminal or my red conductor on the brass terminal on the right. And at this point, we're trying to kind of stay out of the way of our wires, not get them twisted up too much. And whenever you're doing the other side, you have to double check that your orientation of your hook is still in a clockwise direction. So that is something to always pay attention to. So there I have a solid connection for my two traveler wires. I have my grounds connected with a pigtail to my light and now my neutral is connected and passes through my box. So I'm going to, I pack that one up normally too, but I'm going to leave it there so we can work through this circuit at the end. The only thing left I have to do is to attach my light fixture to my wires. This is a very simple arrangement. I have no ground terminal, so we will not be using our ground wire. All I have to do is to connect my white wire to my silver terminal, which would be here. And then we have to connect our black wire to our gold terminal here. So there we have every connection made that we need to make the circuit work. So I'll leave this one out too so we can talk about it. I want to route through all of this, talk about it, and show you how this works. So in, to explain this switch a little bit more, the inside parts of the switch are going to work in a way that there's only two positions for the switch. We have up or down. So the first position down is going to connect my black terminal to the red wire terminal, this gold terminal. So these are bridged, so that's sending power uh, through uh, my black wire that's coming in that's live through my red wire over here. So if both of these switches are in a down position, I have a solid uh, continuous connection between this terminal and that terminal. And what happens is it's passing through this wire, which is coming in, this black wire to my black terminal, to this red wire, then it's coming through this red wire, and then because this position connects these two, it's now passing through this black terminal and then up to my light. 
this condition is going to give us light that's on. So what happens is in either location, if I turn that switch in another direction, it's not only breaking these two terminals, but it's also making a connection from this black terminal over to this terminal. That's the difference. So now in this arrangement, I've got power coming in to my black terminal and it's traveling now to my black wire. So this black wire, if you remember, carries over to here. So now I have power running to here, but this switch is still down. And if you remember the first position or down is only connecting over here. So my power stops right here. If I was to turn this switch up now, what it's going to do is bridge across here. And now I'm carrying power over to my light. So it, whichever switch you turn on or off, it's going to either carry through the red wire or the green or the uh, black wire. And what that's doing is it's giving us two paths for the wires. So as you flip one off, it's going to either turn the light on. This will turn it off. This will turn it back on. That will turn it back off. So that's how two switches can operate one light fixture with some extra internal parts in the switches. That's a three-way switch. That's how you, the magic of 14-3 wire. And this is how we can operate one light in two different locations. Right here, we're very close. And we have, you'll never have two switches right next to each other. But imagine if you came into a room with two doors, you can now have a switch at each door and turn one light fixture on from two different locations. Woo!